All right, what's up? We back. It's been a crazy past couple of days going on in Kursk. The Ukrainians have launched a cross-border raid into the Russian Oblast. You can see right here, the red area was August 7th, the orange areas were August 8th, the yellow were the 9th, the green was the 10th, and the blue is today. This helps you visualize the progress, because on the first two days, there were a lot of gains, but there have still been steadier advances since then. The red dotted line is the Russian defense line. As you can see, it's been completely breached. Let's get into what we've got for today, because I feel like a lot of this stuff's already been talked about. You know how I keep you guys on the freshest. It looks like Ukraine has been confirmed to be in Plekhovo, which is along the border. And going north, they've also entered Martinovka, and apparently th this one's not completely confirmed yet. They've dislodged the Russians from Krugly. This was important because you can see that the least amount of gains have been happening on the eastern area, and this is where Russia has deployed the bulk of their troops. So getting a nice little breakthrough in there is always good. Yesterday, Ukraine captured the... This is probably the biggest city that they've captured so far, is Suja. They got a big, nice chunk yesterday. But over here, Ukraine has also captured some of the heights around here. Is this program, is the topographic map still bad? Yeah, this sucks. But you can see that this area that they're pushing on is the high ground. They're able to push up through this area. They'll be able to roll down the hill and get good firing positions on the settlements along this river right here. Getting on the heights is always the hard part, so this is a good little first step. There have been reports that Ukraine is fighting in and trying to bypass Korinovo from the east. Bypassing this would probably mean going through Vetreno and moving up along here, just going past it. This west half seems like the current main area of advance. Because as you can see over here, there are Russian claims saying that Ukraine has entered Solobka Ivanovka. There's a lot of Russian channels on Telegram worried about some kind of encirclement in Kursk, and I think if that happens, it would be in this area right here. It'd be pushing from both of those sides to kind of close off this little pocket. Obviously, that's way too hopeful to think about in the next couple days, but that, I think, like, if they're worried about an encirclement, that is probably the one that they are worried about. Another development that happened yesterday was that Ukraine actually expanded their operations into the Belgorod region. It took over this little bitty ditty right here called Peros, but also folks see more on this Korinovo western region. There have been civilians in Kras... I'm... Okay. krasno Oktyabarske that are saying that the Ukrainians have a presence in the region or may still be inside of the city. If this is true, then this is probably the next area where they're trying to advance. Korinevo is probably the biggest settlement that they've run into now, so if they're advancing in this direction, it's likely that they're trying to bypass it as well as go around it here. For maneuver operations like this, the less amount of time you spend in, like, urban combat and fighting in cities, the better. So overall, this has been a pretty insane push. I think I measured it. It's about like 625 square kilometers now. Let's fact check that. I don't want to be capping. Yeah, about 629 square kilometers. And with the other little ditties on the side, that may go up to like 650. So yeah, that's what I got for you guys today. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be continue updating this situation. I haven't posted a video in four months because I was actually being held on the Kursk border, but Ukraine liberated me. I'm not gonna lie. For the past few months, I've just been kicking it old school. I've been finding some diamonds in the rough. I've been growing some other channels and stuff like that. Shout out Ukraine for freeing me. Shout out Geek City. And that's all I got. I'll see you guys later.